Keeping an eye on Butler County, an unusual sight. People there say they've been noticing a number of sick raccoons in the area. KDK's Shelley Bortz went to Valencia to find out why. Neighbors in this Butler County community tell us in just the last two weeks, they've seen four sick raccoons. In one instance, the animal had to be put down. And we're all used to seeing raccoons not acting like this, though. It's different. Sick and dying raccoons are creating a concern among homeowners in the Weatherburn Heights community of Valencia. Several of the animals have been spotted in yards, driveways, and this raccoon made it all the way to someone's sliding back door, as seen in these pictures shared with KDKA TV by a neighbor. During the daytime, which isn't always abnormal, but rolling around, stumbling, um, you know, not able to stand up, uh, sick with something. This woman says it's concerning because if the raccoons do have rabies, that's a real threat to people and pets. But she says there's no way of knowing. Well, unfortunately, they don't test unless there's interaction with a human or a pet. So living here 13 years, never seeing a sick raccoon. Obviously, we have a lot of raccoons around here, but this is the first. And for them not to be tested for rabies, distemper, uh, we don't know what, what they possibly could have. The Pennsylvania Game Commission did remove one of the sick raccoons found in the subdivision. They say the sick animals could also have distemper, which people can't get, but man's best friend can. That's why they encourage pet owners to make sure their pets' vaccines are up to date. We haven't seen anything sick in the last two weeks, and I hope it stays that way. If you see a sick raccoon, you're asked to call your local police department or 911. Reporting in Butler County, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News.